Before this video starts, I'd like to say hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can join the notification squad and comment down below for a chance at winning a shout out in the next video. What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to turn any structure you want into a function pack and it's really super easy so I'm going to show you everything you need. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and show you a function I made and I'm going to show you the temple one. So we're going to do function temp. And it will spawn in 5,582 commands uh, for this structure here. And there's the structure. So it's a temple. Uh, now this is a schematic file if you don't know what that is. Now if you don't know what a lot of this stuff is, don't worry. I'm going to show you how you could do this in literally about 10 minutes. You could constantly keep doing this and make some amazing cool stuff. So yeah, you could do this for your add-ons. You know, you can make a function pack structure uh, mod, I guess, structure block mod. I don't know. You could come up with your own cool stuff. So let's go ahead and go to save and quit. Now you're going to need to download some couple things. I'll have them in the description of this video. One will be called MC Edit for Pocket Edition. Two, you're going to need to be able to download my schematic for, or not my schematic, but my um, filter for MC Edit. And then you're going to need to download any schematic or create your own schematic. I'm just going to exit out of Minecraft. So this is my structure to uh, filter, my structure to function filter here. You're going to need to download Notepad++. It's very important. And you're going to need to download MC Edit Unified for Pocket Edition. So as soon as you download it, you're going to need to go to your stock filters and just drag in my filter here and throw it into your filters. Go ahead and scroll down and load up MC Edit. If you don't know what MC Edit is or how to use it, if you do, then you could just load it up after you install everything. Um, so once it runs and go ahead and loads up, we're going to pick a random structure. I have a bunch that I downloaded and just have for map making and some that I built myself and things. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just press OK. Uh, now go to untitled you can make a new world you can click any other world if you don't know how to use mc edit uh, that's totally up to you guys but i'm just going to click a world because you're not going to be saving anything so it doesn't matter if you click a world that's already in your pocket edition it doesn't matter you're not going to uh, mess nothing up as long as you don't save so as soon as you load in go ahead and press import go to wherever your schematic file is um Let's go ahead and pick something I haven't done yet. So, what do you guys think? Let's do... There we go. Uh, castle 1. This one should probably be a pretty big one, so this is going to be perfect. So, let's look down. Now, this is if you have a big file. This is very important. Just look down on whatever world you're at. Just press import. Uh, now, as soon as you press import, go to... Actually, I want to look at the size. Okay, so this is the size, so it's going to be pretty big, so keep that in mind. Now go ahead and go to filter. Go over here to add fil the filters where it says add potion effects, and just scroll down to my function, structure to function, press filter, and it will create a command block with all of the function text files, basically for you to be able to put this in your world, to have it in a function format. Now depending on your computer and depending on the size of whatever it is, it will add more command blocks, might be less command blocks, might be whatever. Uh, so we have a bunch of command blocks here because it's a big file here. Now go ahead and press import. Just set them down, press import. And as soon as you do it, don't touch nothing else. Just go to where it says CB commands. It'll load up a text file here with all of the things you're going to need to be able to summon that. Let's go ahead and go to select all. Press copy. Now we're done. Let's go ahead and exit out of everything. We no longer need anything. Let's minimize that. Press no. Now load up Notepad++. Now just go ahead and paste that in. Now go ahead and go to any fill area. Go right behind it and highlight the selected space bars here. Press copy. Now go to search. Now go to replace. Go ahead and have it right there. Go down to here. Now you're going to need to do this forward slash in and then right here you're going to need to paste in these spaces. Go ahead and press extended here. And go ahead and go to replace all. Now once you do that, it puts it into new lines. That's exactly what you're going to need to do. Now let's go ahead and go over and look at it. Now you can see it all there. Everything looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and scroll down until we find the set block. Now go ahead and go right behind B. And go ahead and highlight all the way right there like that. You're going to highlight the space and set. Now go back to search. Go back to replace. 
and it's already gonna have it done for you but just go right here and press set now replace all now what it'll do is put those down below below it so you don't have to do anything now you're done press file save as go to go to your desktop name it whatever you want so we're gonna do cat <laughs> dot mc function let's go function just like so so that whatever you want your name to be right there we're actually going to do t7 test 7 so function press save and you're done now it's right here for an mc function let's go ahead and drag it into our file and let's load minecraft and let's see if this works so so far i've been recording for five minutes and i've already pretty much made a giant castle into a function in less than four minutes so it's like really easy you guys can follow along this is a really simple tutorial so let's go ahead and go here and if you have any questions feel free to ask me now depending on the size this is very important depending on the size of the structure you might have to put this into two or three function packs so instead of one file you can only have 10,000 commands in that one single function file now it was a lot more with before the beta 1.13 but it's it's okay that's why I'm making the video now let's go to show coordinates let's go to gameplay external because you're gonna need that and let's go to flat just so we can see it now go to have go to behavior packs now uh, my function pack got messed up so I'm gonna use one that's called mob arena script it's something you can download for private people a uh, private beta people but I'm, I'm not gonna use that part I'm just gonna use the functions in here because that's where I put my function file because you need a um, in your manifest you need to use the uh, minimum engine format and everything and I didn't feel like making a new manifest or a new add-on for everything just for this video I just threw it all in there real quick and do the testing so that's why it's on that but you'll put this in your functions folder and everything just like normal all right so once the world loads let's go ahead and uh, let's go to function let's type this in and we named it t7 so t7 and let's press enter and there it goes 7550 commands right there and we have a castle right before our eyes guys and you can add this whatever it's almost no lag it was literally easy and there we go so everything's here the doors the walls the I mean everything it's an empty kind of uh, castle but you could put you know whatever like I said you could download whatever kind of schematics you want but that's how you would do it and that's how you could put those into your maps and your worlds and everything so yeah that's pretty cool uh, yeah if you have any questions or anything feel free to ask them in the comment section below and uh, yeah um, if you don't know how to make a structure folder or a structure pack like this let me know in the comment section below but I'll try and help you guys as much as I can I'll see you in the next video I'm Daycon Black Rose and I'm out Father told me when I was young Don't play with fire because of sun